idea of Ashoka was really born from a desire to make a difference to higher education in India. Uh, I think we all felt that uh, Indian students were not getting what they deserve. And increasingly the only option for students was to go abroad to study, whether at the undergraduate or the postgraduate level. Debates about uh, India's development and its economy, its past, its history, its politics were happening in campuses around the world and by academics outside India. We were really driven by this desire that you know our students here in India uh, deserve to get an education in India that compares to the best in the world and is also affordable and accessible. We found that everybody was starting schools and universities that were very focused on professional education that led towards employment, uh, engineering, law, business and so on. Uh, and so we chose a path that was perhaps more challenging uh, but we felt was required uh, which is the path of sticking only to liberal arts. Ashoka is a very unique project uh, in that there are 82 philanthropists who've come together, corporates and individuals, who are all founders of the university, and therefore we've managed to create a very unique governance structure to attract the best faculty, the best students, uh, to build the best run university in the country. As of today, we have about 600 crore raised in philanthropic money uh, and our aspiration is to get to 2,000 crore from 200 founders in 2020. And the real reason why people come in as donors to Ashoka is because they truly believe they're coming in at the ground floor when a Harvard or Yale in India is being created. So they understand that this is something truly different and will have vast repercussions across higher ed in India. We were allotted this piece of land just outside of Delhi in district Sonipat somewhere in 2010. Uh, this campus or this land we got possession of in 2012 after which we started to build the campus extremely aggressively. Uh, we were finally able to commission the first phase of the campus in 2014 and August 2014 is the time when the university started in its present place. The Young India Fellowship Program got launched in 2011 meanwhile from a rented campus in Delhi and our undergraduate program started on campus in 2014. program in some ways resembles that of a North American uh, liberal arts university. We have foundation courses that uh, inculcate in our students breadth in different ways of thinking uh, before they cultivate depth in a specific major. We are also offering our students a series of courses called critical thinking seminars. It's a three semester sequence that uh, basically introduces them not only to the art of writing but also the art of thinking and the art of entering into conversation with the others. I went to college. Uh, is teaching Indian children English. Russia sends all the billionaires to prison. Because it's the name of culture, uh, family, honor. The objectives and the functioning of this university. 
we've done fairly well as a new institution in terms of attracting the right quality of students to Ashoka. In our undergraduate batch in the first year we had 1000 applications and we took in a batch of 133. In our second year we doubled our applications so we had almost 2000 applicants and we took in about 233 people. I was incredibly, incredibly impressed from year one with the students. The fellows in Young India Fellowship are astounding. Not because they're smart, there are lots of smart people in places like India and China and Asia in general, but it's because they're smart and accomplished. So they come in, some of them were filmmakers, some of them uh, were journalists, they were lawyers, they were engineers, uh, they were psychologists, sociologists, they were writers, they were poets. It was fabulous. And everyone came together and I had this wonderful opportunity of getting them first. I found uh, that they were teaching me as much as I thought I was teaching them. So they had perspectives when I just had data and they had uh, responses when I just had uh, facts and they had questions of which I did not have the answers. All of us in the world over are very driven by this desire to be the best uh, and to be the best in this or that, to be the first in class, to be the topper in my department, in my school, my exam, uh, to do well in college and be considered the best, to get the best jobs, to get the best salaries and so on and so forth. I think India today and the world today needs a different kind of graduate, a graduate who feels confidence in the fact that they can be the best that they can be. And so we we want the Ashoka graduate to not just be the best in the world, but also be the best for the world. And in being best for the world, they will indeed be the best in the world. Our aspiration is to build future leaders for India and the world. And so when we look at the skills and attributes we want our students to have, we want people to be critical thinkers, people who have writing and communication skills, uh, people who really have a love for learning, they will be learning forever, and who have a spirit of public service. So we think the students that come out of Ashoka will really be change makers, change makers in Indian society, uh, and not only will they change the face of business, but they'll change the face of our country.